Welcome back to Let's Play the old Avenger, for the PSP specifically. I want to see if anyone is actually here anymore. Sandy is not. The slug is also not. I don't know where they ran away to, or, or how they got out of there. I don't know how they got in there. But, in any case, assuming that there's nobody off to the left or anything like that, in the one little area I haven't explored yet, let's just get out of here. takes us a little bit closer to the bus stop. And from here, where do we go now? Because I still want to keep exploring as much as we can, just to make sure we don't pass anything up. It leads to us having to have another sad 20 minutes or whatever trying to explore everything. Let's explore things now while we still have the morale to do so. And while we're exploring by choice, as opposed to as a last resort. I'm tempted to take the bus here instead of directly to any other area to ensure that I actually cross as much ground as I can on the way there, on the way to other areas, that is. Namely, downtown now. What awaits us here? I hate you. So it's Shady Shoals. This doesn't look as much like Shady Shoals as it probably should. We still can't go to the Mermaid layer, I'm guessing? I'm really excited to see the second floor of Squidward's house. It doesn't appear very often. We can't do that yet. Town scared. I love how high resolution those pictures are compared to the actual resolution of the screen if you're looking at it on a PSP. It would be weird if I could just randomly suddenly go into a room layer or something like that. Although, it wouldn't be unprecedented considering you could just randomly now access Sandy's Tree Dome since whatever was in the way isn't in the way anymore. This game doesn't really have that much rhyme or reason. Stop! I hate you so much. Like, I imagine at some point this thing might just disappear. Either that or we actually get there from another side. Something like that. You probably are noticing I'm taking way more damage than I used to now. It's really creepy those guys have SpongeBob underwear. Like, SpongeBob underwear is a thing in real life, but in this show it's kind of weird. But it's because it's a lot trickier now to actually not hit these guys in the way that damage is me. Because of the input delay. I really consider one, but like, the siren just annoying design to get with. Let's use this as a checkpoint, at least. Can we go any further in here? I think we needed that green move, the next move, to do anything here. So, let's take a really quick. I don't think there's even anybody to talk to here. At least so far. No, Larry was here, wasn't he? Yeah, Larry is, or at least was here. We should see if Larry has anything new for us to do. Instead of just blowing this place off, as much as I hate to say it. It's, it's really pure high up for some reason. Okay. He's, I don't remember where he was or anything like that, so... I don't know what to do with him. You would think he wouldn't have moved from where he was before, because he didn't have anything to say to me before. I don't know why they would move him around if they weren't gonna change anything about him. Larry, that is. We'll see. I realize I'm still being really stubborn about not using these jelly jars I have. Come on. I wish you just had fear that ran at you that way. 
That's the main thing that's annoying me. Did I actually like hit the, the wall in an interesting way? Or did you get like stuck on the wall? I know I need this water ball. Should probably actually get it. I don't, okay, whatever. I did not know that I needed that water ball. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't. It's not like a green out green door building over here anyways. I can actually access that yet. Okay. There's another power up I don't have yet. Okay, that <laughs> That towel behind me is really floating there, isn't it? I guess I'm not really seeing Larry anywhere anymore, or wherever he was before. Still can't come in here. Whoa. Never mind. So the game does just randomly give me access to air. Wow, this is one heck of a TARDIS. Pretty big on the inside, eh? Just randomly allowed in here now. Why not? Work. What? <laughs> sure. I can't come here before. Game, you're so arbitrary. They don't just make it like. I have to like. It's good that I don't have to mash the button, I guess. Since not everyone can always mash buttons really hard. And I'm gonna try actually try mashing it. Come on. Not to, not to, kept doing it a lot of times so for that to work. I know you're not supposed to be able to see that purple line there, but it's kinda of funny to see. Kind of sun rubs mouth as it's animated. Again, I can see that, that I know that's also a still frame from the show though. It's kinda of funny how they stitch together different things. Maybe these animations and whatnot. But, like, there was nothing determined that I could or could, could, could come in here now. Okay! Oh, oops. Lock, lock, lock it back. There we go. It's a really cool looking place in here, though. It's nice and bright and colorful. It's actually, the windows also make Good Lagoon look a lot more colorful outside than it actually is. Apparently, Larry needs his binoculars, which I apparently know now. Again, it's, I guess it's better that the game tells me now. Instead of making me go somewhere else later. But... Where's Larry? Like, I came here looking for Larry. To begin with. So what happens with that big muscle dude? He doesn't really hit the wall or anything like that. Huh, come on. I said no, whoops. So this game's sound effects are really quiet, which is weird considering how loud the music is. In fact, can I lower the music? Probably should. Music volume doesn't change much. Okay, now we can actually hear some of the sound effects a bit better. Hopefully my commentary do, com ah, hopefully my commentary doesn't sound super loud now. Because of the Because now it's gonna affect the audio balance, but still. So let's see if Larry's off to the right now, I guess. Be if he wasn't. Whoa, excuse me? What? 
Okay. And there's presumably somewhere in this... I think away. Somewhere in this general area. You, I don't know, and he could be somewhere other than Goo Lagoon. I mean, heck, in Battle for New Bottom, at one point, you find him on the rooftops for some reason. So, downtown. Hey, big dude, could you. This don't cause issues for me for a bit. What the heck are you doing? Oh, what? I can't. Combo him. Why? Actually, can I just hit him with a water bottle? Oh, I'm not getting hurt. There we go. Alright, so now I can bring this box over, I think it was. done this before, of course. Now I need to get this awkward little bank shot here. Hopefully we'll actually find Larry by doing this. It's not guaranteed. Pretty much use your time this time last time. For some reason I have a really hard time disabling power-ups in this game. It never reacts the first time I press the button. Please go away. And please stop occupying thin platforms that I need to jump on. Ah! Oh heck, I have to... Hit that switch again now, don't I? Get back up here. Ugh. I know I'm gonna hit a dead end again too, because I've gone over there before. It's just the oh geez, after all, all this I'm gonna do. This is why the game needs more bus stops or at least checkpoints. Jeez, I realize it's my fault that I ended up dying. But it's gonna be really annoying coming back here again later. And having to carry all these boxes around and all that stuff again. I'm trying to activate your power up. Come on. Okay. Are we, are we in your episode time already? Oh man, we are already at episode time. Darn, pick up the box. It takes so much time to just get around in this game. I guess that it should, because getting around is all this game is. Jellyfish, hello. It's not like the idea of drinking jelly. What do you imagine jellyfish jelly tastes like? I mean, it's not fruit, so it wouldn't, shouldn't taste like fruit, should it? Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next time, next episode. We hopefully find Larry here somewhere vaguely? I have no idea. There's a Larry somewhere in this world, and we don't know where. Bye, everyone.